Hello, I'm Deborah McGrath, Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at ServiceNow. During the next few minutes, I'll be demonstrating ServiceNow Agile Dashboards. Our pre-configured, out-of-the-box Agile Dashboards provide product owners and Agile team members with the valuable insights they need for planning and executing their software development work. Key data visualizations are designed to help improve Agile processes and practices and at-a-glance status indicators enable quick access to Agile analytics to measure productivity, progress, and status to help drive continuous improvement. We're currently looking at all the dashboards that Program Manager Eileen Motern has access to. She'll use the Groups dropdown to filter by Agile and chooses the Agile 2.0 group. The new dashboards include the Sprint dashboard that tracks scope, actual burndown, and forecast trends, and the prior sprint dashboard for insights to better plan for upcoming sprints. The release dashboard and prior release dashboard, which provide insights to help plan the work for upcoming releases. The team dashboard provides insights on how a team is progressing on stories over a given period of time. And the epic dashboard with visualizations on how stories of an epic are progressing. Eileen will select the epic dashboard for a closer look. The EPIC dashboard includes gauges that display important details of the EPIC and a burn-up chart that indicates the pace at which the team is working on stories in the EPIC and forecasts when the EPIC is likely to be completed. Eileen clicks on the Scrum EPIC drop-down to select the EPIC she wants to review. She chooses the HR Survey Management EPIC. The gauges across the top show her details about the current EPIC, including total story count, number of stories completed, and stories missing estimated points. She can drill into any of the gauges for additional information. For example, when she clicks on the total story count, the system presents a configurable list of the eight stories in the epic, identifying their sprint, story points, state, priority, and more. She clicks on priority to sort them in order of priority highest to lowest. Looking at the epic burnout, Eileen can analyze trends and estimate when the epic is likely to be completed. The scope, indicated by the blue line at the top of the chart, shows the size of the epic. Below that, the completed line in green shows her the amount of work in the epic that is complete. The chart also includes completed forecast and scope forecast, both of which are predictions based on historical data. Scope forecast predicts the possibility of scope change for the future dates and the completed forecast predicts the burn-up for future dates, letting Eileen know whether her team can complete the EPIC on time. Over time, the completed forecast series will intersect with the scope forecast series, indicating when the EPIC might be completed. If the completed forecast series and the scope forecast series do not appear to ever intersect, it's a warning for Eileen that scope is being added faster than the work is being completed. The EPIC dashboard is just one of the many Agile dashboards that Eileen relies on for valuable insights to help improve her organization's Agile processes and practices. We just demonstrated how ServiceNow Agile dashboards provide product owners and Agile team members with the at-a-glance status indicators and Agile analytics they need for planning and executing their work, while improving Agile processes and practices to help drive continuous improvement. For additional information, Visit servicenow.com slash ITBM.